we first got called in, we really had unknown suspects at that time. We had descriptions of a white male and a white female. As we investigated further, another merchant had come in. Uh, wanted to know what had gone on and uh, when we told her she said that those people were in my store not too long ago and I recalled from dealing with this merchant in the past I knew she had video in her store Can take a look at that yeah. Was that the victim in mean, identification saying that was the person that had taken their stuff? They say there's there's no perfect crime, and and this is you know example of that. He's unlucky that only moments prior he was in a different store that caught him on on video, which puts him at the scene of the crime. Yes, I think it's gonna happen. When the detective showed up to interrogate me that night, I knew I was done, and I was getting tired of running. Maybe I was getting old. So once they started asking questions, I started talking. I could pick any kind of safe imaginable, like a locksmith. When speaking to Mr. Hawley, he was uh, a free talker. He said he was strung out on drugs and that he needed the money to support his habit. He was a very big person, friendly, charismatic, like he wanted to be friends more than an adversary at this point. He was a bit of a bragger. He knew he was captured, he knew he was caught, and actually uh, offered to take us to recover the jewelry.